Hello, and welcome to the long-awaited Licho Koshkimo opening celebration. I'm Natalie Shirley, President and CEO of the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum. We are so glad that you're joining us to celebrate the opening of this amazing addition to the museum. The outdoor educational experience will provide hands-on and minds-on activities for children and families for generations to come. Licho Koshkamo is more than 100,000 square feet right here in the museum's backyard. This space is dedicated to learning and family fun with engaging activities that bring history to life for guests of all ages. And now I'd like to introduce Kathy Keating, member of the board of directors, a founding member of the Annie Oakley Society and the former first lady of Oklahoma to say a few words. Hello everyone, I'm Kathy Keating, national co-chair and founder of the Annie Oakley Society and a member of the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum's Board of Directors. We are thrilled to finally share with you our signature project of the Annie Oakley Society, Licho Koshkamo, which is a Chickasaw phrase meaning, let's play. We want to thank our many donors and sponsors, as well as Wells Fargo, who is creating this virtual grand opening experience, as well as for their donation of this beautiful reproduction stagecoach behind me. Before we begin the virtual tour, we'd like to share with you and thank our amazing donors who made Licho Koshkamo possible. The Chickasaw Nation, the Freeze Family Foundation, the Green Family, the Burnett Foundation, E.L. and Thelma Gaylord Foundation, Billy and Ross McKnight, Inasmuch Foundation, Mo Anderson, Bob and Sylvia Slater, Bob Funk and Express Employment Professionals, Loves Travel Stops and Country Stores, Maybe Foundation, Stephen M. C. Foundation, Janine Nathy, Bellevue Foundation, Governor Frank and Kathy Keating, the Ann Lacey Foundation, Bank First, and of course, the Annie Oakley Society founding and current members, and many, many more. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your many gifts and your continued support of the Annie Oakley Society's mission which is to build and sustain imaginative, creative, extraordinary educational experiences for families and children here at the museum. The museum recently received several amazing gifts for the addition to the collections and to enhance Lee Chokoshkamo, as well as to honor the Annie Oakley Society. Co-founder and co-chair nationally of the Annie Oakley Society and fellow board member Lynn Fries is here to tell us more. Over the past year, my dear husband Foster has gifted me and thus the Annie Oakley Society and the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum with some truly amazing gifts. You can now find on display the only two known rifles with Annie Oakley's name engraved on them a factory engraved gold-plated deluxe Marlin Mo model 1897 lever action rifle and a custom made factory engraved gold-plated Stevens model 44 single shot rifle. In addition to these two firearms, the Foster is also gifted a British halfpenny that stamped Oakley that Annie shot and a portrait of Annie taken by the White Studio in New York City, signed by Annie on the back. On behalf of my husband, Foster, it is with great honor that I present these treasures to the museum in honor of the founders of Annie Oakley Society, Kathy Keating and myself, Lynn Freeze. Now, I'd like to introduce Judy Hatfield, Oklahoma Chair of the Annie Oakley Society, who's going to give a little history about the Annie Oakley Society and Licho Koshkamo. Hi, I'm Judy Hatfield, and lucky enough to be the Oklahoma Chair of the Annie Oakley Society. What a dream come true. 
All three of us love the cowboy, as I'm sure you do too. That is why we have spent many years with your generous support as members and donors to bring this hands-on, minds-on educational experience to the museum through the Annie Oakley Society. Our society is named not only after a phenomenal Western icon, but a woman of true grit and character. Being a member of the Annie Oakley Society offers girls and women of all ages the opportunity to continue the legacy of the West by honoring outstanding women who have not only made a huge positive imprint on the West by their own achievements, but have also helped others aim high and create their own achievements too. Licho Koshkimo has fun educational activities and encourages you to imagine, play, and learn. Want to be an entrepreneur? Take risks, explore, use engineering, science, and math to get through all the life as it was in the Old West? We have it all. There are yard games, crafts, folklore, native dance demonstrations, all surrounded by the grandeur of our rich history of the West. This entire outdoor educational experience is a place to play with the capital P. Come join us, you'll be glad you did. Education of the Code of the West is immensely important these days. Honor, integrity, truth, your word is your bond, honor your parents. All the wonderful codes of the West need to be shown and told to the generations. And this is the perfect place to not only teach, but to live out these codes as well. With the funds raised from Annie Oakley Society memberships and fundraising efforts, we are able to provide a unique, one-of-a-kind, hands-on, minds-on experience, unlike anything available anywhere else in the world. We can combine character building through Code of the West with fun and relevant STEM, culture, and historical experiences in a very fun and imaginative way. You can support the future of the Annie Oakley Society and support its mission of hands-on, mind-on experiences for families and children by becoming a member of the Annie Oakley Society or making a donation. Be a part of our future. Come explore the past as we better understand its impact on the future. Visit nationalcowboymuseum.org forward slash Annie Oakley Society and come to the museum and experience Lee Chokoshkomo firsthand. Aim high and dream big with us. But for now, let's, let's go explore. explore. Welcome to Lee Chokoshkomo, the new outdoor educational experience here at the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum. Lee Chokoshkomo is a Chickasaw phrase for let's play. And that spirit serves as an invitation for families to experience hands-on learning in a world-class environment. The outdoor setting complements and enhances the themes already known within our museum, and it expands our cultural scope. Let's get started! The Entry Canyon to Licho Koshkamo is a visual representation of how people from around the world contributed to the American West. In conflict and cooperation, they have created diverse cultures and experiences, Amid that diversity, they sought sustenance, community, and a home. We are here at the Love's Trading Post. For this activity, kids, go ahead and make the trade. What is one beaver really worth? Use the wooden blocks to the right to find its value. Place the one made beaver circular puck on the left side of the scale, then balance it with an equal amount of trade goods on the right. Once you have your answer, grab a piece of chalk and write that on the board to your right. That's pretty outstanding to be able to take a concept that's so complicated and distill it down into something that's so simple. The Intertribal Village offers a change in interpretation with stories and historical texts created in collaboration with the indigenous communities represented. This engagement is an important step in highlighting different viewpoints and new perspectives. You have the opportunity to travel to an ancient Puebloan cliff dwelling, encompassing rich civilizations and native lifeways. This imposing mini cliff dwelling is a fun place to explore the origins of contemporary Puebloan culture. You can learn about reverence and the traditions that show the significance of indigenous spaces. After exploring ancestral Puebloan communities, you will encounter the Hopi Pueblo dwelling. 
The Hopi are a Puebloan people of northeastern Arizona and are comprised of 12 villages on three mesas. They speak an udo aztecan family-type language with four distinct dialects. You will learn about Hopi history and culture while exploring the Pueblo dwelling, viewing pottery designs and putting together large pottery puzzles at one of two activity stations. Throughout the year, the demonstration area features native programming, including singing, dancing, traditional games, storytelling, and more. You can also enjoy an urban oasis of dedicated green space in the heart of Oklahoma City, with room to picnic and enjoy the museum's surrounding gardens. Bask in the sights of awe-inspiring mesas while viewing a male Diné Hogan. The Hogan is the Diné, or Navajo people's, traditional home and is constructed according to instructions given by the Creator shortly after man emerged into the fourth world. The first, or male Hogan, was the fork stick Hogan frame, a pyramid with five triangular faces. The entrance faces to the east to catch the first rays of dawn. At the Hogan, try your hand at weaving on an oversized rug loom. Next, you will be able to view and feel a replica Caddo Grass Lodge. Learn about their community and culture and the materials used to build their magnificent homes. These houses were permanent dwellings that could last for 50 years or more. Families gathered to communally construct each house that was commonly erected in one day after all the raw materials had been collected, processed, and placed on site. Try to follow the steps to gather, bundle, and tie wall layers on a wooden frame. Kiowa culture comes alive at the Kiowa Teepee. The Kiowa people are originally from the Yellowstone River region of western Montana and speak a Tanoan language closely related to Pueblo. During the 17th and 18th centuries, they left Montana and gradually moved into the Black Hills of South Dakota. While there, they allied with the Crow Nation. Gradually, the Kiowa moved south and made their home on the Southern Plains, where they were allied with the Comanche. The Kiowa teepee was a highly transportable home, ideal for the mobile life of people living on the Great Plains. It was constructed using 17 poles. 15 poles were arranged in a circle with two holding open the flaps. Listen to Kiowa language and explore indigenous engineering discoveries at the miniature Kiowa teepee. Welcome to the Pawnee Earth Lodge. Step inside to explore the detailed architectural design. Learn about the significance of agriculture and grind corn with a mortar and pestle. Our corn has always had a sacred bond with our, our people. We've had medicine people, our priests that would pray over it and that would imbue the corn in its sacredness to provide medicine for us. The Pawnee Nation consists of four related bands. Their traditional home was the Earth Lodge, the intricate construction of which was accompanied by a religious ceremony and poignant stories. Well, you know, the lodge, it, it has several meanings. It, according to our, our um, creation story, it was a gift given to the first Pawnees. It's, you know, the, exactly the way it was built you know, back in the 1800s. I think it was really, really good for us. And not only us, but to teach people, you know, where, you know, what our permanent homes were. You can learn about the Pawnee and attend facilitated crafts, stargazing, and storytelling here at Licho Koshkamo. Finally, you'll come to a replica of the Chickasaw Council House, which is a primary meeting space to learn about the Chickasaw people and how the structure played an important role in the community. The council house was a communal structure built for public assemblies by Chickasaw and other southeastern Indian tribes. It served as a civic and social center. This is a space for guided discussion where children can voice opinions about issues that are important to them. Did we mention Licho Koshkamo is a Chickasaw phrase for let's play? What better place for the young and young at heart to play than the Fries Family Playground? Jump, skip, hang and slide right here at the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum. The word rodeo comes from the Spanish verb rodear, meaning to surround, encircle, or round up. During seasonal roundup, vaqueros, or cowboys, challenged each other in matches of calf and steer roping and saddle bronc riding. Rodeo in the United States also descended from Wild West shows that toured the country from the mid-1870s to 1920s, often featuring American Indian, African American, and Hispanic performers. Female trick riders, shooters, bronc riders, and ropers became especially popular. Enter the arena at the McKnight Rodeo to learn to rope and explore the origins of modern cowboy words and terms. People in the American West viewed waterfalls in different ways. 
Some saw them as a power source for sawmills, flour mills, and electricity. Their majesty is acknowledged through paintings and photographs throughout history. Indigenous people also revere the life-giving power of water and include it in ceremonies. In Licho Koshkimo, at the Bob and Sylvia Slater waterfall, consider the importance of water and how it impacts you as you gaze upon a 15-foot geyser or follow a winding stream down to the Buffalo Bill Pond. This is the express train depot for Prosperity Junction, Licho Koshkimo's western town. Here, people and goods go in and come out of the west. Kids can play with train whistles and learn the language of railroad engineers, or you can also send a telegraph. Telegraph messages are put into a special language called Morse code and sent via wires across the country. Our depot has a telegraph station, so check it out and try your hand at sending a 150-year-old text. The Gaylord Corral is where cowboy culture comes to life through fun and historic STEM-related games. Explore the history of cattle drives, why they were important, and how they ended. Play Chisholm Trail Pinball, spend your cowboy paycheck, or play a game of Cash Cow. This area is full of interactives designed to share the story of the cowboy. This is the Green's Wagon Interactive. This is a place where you can answer questions about packing for the ultimate road trip. Covered wagons are essentially the vehicles that pioneers would use to travel across the American West to their new homes on the prairies or in Oregon or in California. And to get there, they have to figure out how to pack 25,000 pounds of just the essentials. Is the essential your grandmother's piano? Is it your mother's fine china? Or is it the food you need to eat on the way? To keep the load light and to make sure you can make it over mountains and streams and rivers, you need to know what's in your wagon. Here at the Greens Wagon Interactive, you've got 3,000 pounds to cover. See what you come up with. Take an up-close look at an early pioneer home, the sod house, while learning about the diversity of Western migration. Starting a farm or ranch in the West offered the promise of freedom and permanence to many families. In the South, after the Civil War, black Americans still faced widespread discrimination. In 1879, groups of black families organized an exodus to set up new homes on the plains of Kansas, Nebraska, and Colorado. With few trees available, homesteaders built houses out of sod. Sod is a cut rectangle of grass and dirt that can be used as a brick to build. Sometimes these houses or soddies were built into the side of hills. They had dirt floors, dirt walls, and dirt roofs. If you take a stroll through the sod house doors, you'll find yourself inside the Annie Oakley Society Event Center the museum's newest event space. You can enjoy your lunch, read a book, or partake in activities hosted by the museum's education team. The Annie Oakley Society Event Center is also available to rent for your next special event. The Adobe Casita highlights the Spanish influence in the Southwest. A traditional Adobe Casita used mud-formed bricks for walls. A thin mud plaster coated the outside with a whitewash applied inside. These homes required regular upkeep because rain and other weather could cause it to melt. After the Mexican-American War in the 1840s, adobe structures became less common. Today, adobe is popular as a green building material. Don't forget Prosperity Junction! Take a step inside a replica western boomtown and be sure to visit the new Express Theater, now showing Under One Sky. Licho Koshkimo reflects the real west, old and new. This space will continue to grow sparking a lifelong interest in our Western heritage. Licho Koshkimo is now open to the public. Explore the cultures of the West and learn through play now at the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum.